back again. Now I have a tip for you on your grip. As your grip is only one of two parts that touch the cue, two parts of your body, and that is your bridge hand and your grip hand. So the idea is you don't want to grip it too tight and you don't want to grip it too loose. Gripping it too tight is probably the biggest problem I see among beginners. Alright, so look at that, it's like the death grip. Knuckles turning white. It's just it's just awful, you know. And then the other one is a teacup grip. It's amazing. I know a couple players uh, throughout my travels that play really well just holding the cue in the end of their fingers, but there's only a couple out there in the whole world in my travels who can play like that very well. So I recommend what most most great players like to do is just cradle the cue in your fingers, not too loose. See if we can show, kind of like this. In the meaty part of your fingers, cradle the cue. And notice, as my arm goes back and forth, notice how my hand is staying with my arm, right? So if I was holding a cue, what I'm going to do is keep my hand pretty much even with my arm. So therefore the cue is actually going to be rolling in the fingers. Your fingers have to have a little bit of play in them. But you don't want to be whipping the cue back and forth like this. Some players are really good at that. They have a lot of wrist action. I think just keeping it pretty loose so the cue can roll in the fingers in here, not way down here. Not not tight, but just a nice grip. It's going to look like that. A lot of times it's good to have them in two of your fingers, the middle finger and the ring finger. You could hold it up here with your thumb and your index finger. There's a lot of different ways to hold it. Just remember, not too tight and not too loose.